this is my audience. This is my cameraman, Henry. And I am Julia Burke. Did you know that despite its name, Iceland in the time of the Vikings was covered in forests? And even now you can find green acres, forests, and fertile soil. This October, I was lucky enough to go to this beautiful country with my cousin and her friend. On the trip, we learned about Icelandic culture and society. We spent a lot of time enjoying the cuisine, and I was able to partake in new experiences and outlets. I'm very grateful to my friends and family who helped make this possible from trips to and from the airport to helping get all my ducks in a row before I landed in Iceland. To begin with, a break from everyday life, work, and school was amazing for me. Traveling, meeting new people, and experiencing new things was a great experience that I would have everyone try. This trip was the first time that I have ever traveled outside the country without my parents. We were able to find free places to stay, stay, and cheap places to stay, despite the expensive Icelandic economy. We also found inexpensive activities to do, like going to a public pool, which was a geothermal hotspot, instead of going to the very expensive, very famous Blue Lagoon. We also made use of student discounts, happy hour, and free museum tours. We did book a car for the very end of the trip, so we could go down to the countryside, to Vik, and to the east coast of the country. Unfortunately, the person we were going with, who was going to be driving, decided to leave and spend the rest of the trip by himself. Although not ill-intended, he did leave us stranded in the city without a place to stay or a place to put our luggage. Thankfully, I was able to find a place to stay and a place to put our luggage within the hour for free. I learned that I'm able to think quickly on my feet and able to make fast decisions even when there's a new obstacle in your way. In addition, the food is amazing. You can find fresh bread, fish, and veggies very easily. Um, when we first arrived, we went to a um, bakery where we got fresh bread and cheese. One of the best breakfasts that I've ever had. Although, because the city is so expensive and um, the wages are higher and lots of things have to be imported, it's really expensive to eat out. I couldn't even find a cup of coffee less than three dollars and fifty cents. The best part about Iceland though has to be the society. Iceland is a low context culture, so it's easy to understand context clues. They have a value of separate they value separation of work time and family time and they appreciate the time they get to spend with their loved ones. They're very open and blunt about what they have to say, but this is not to be rude, just more to the point. Icelandic people are very easy to talk to Although with the boom of forests and hotels in the city, the people in Iceland are less appreciative of forests than in other places. Women in Iceland have the highest quality of life in the world, in, this, in their jobs, in their relationships, and in their healthcare. This is based heavily off of their Viking heritage. Vikings viewed each other as equals, and they did not have social classes and structures. And Icelandic culture stems from that. So they are egalitarian and view everyone as equal. Over my, overall, my trip to Iceland is an experience I will never forget. The, the trip gave me a new perspective on life and how other people deal with inequality, how they make the most out of little, and how they appreciate time with each other and experiences more than they appreciate material things. It also gave me the confidence to know I am capable of planning big trips, stepping outside of my comfort zone, and making quick decisions on my feet. I encourage everyone to make time in their life to travel, to be open to new experiences, and to see what else is out there.